At our annual family summer vacation, our two daughters and son thought that Jackie was not normal and there was a problem with her memory. We went over to the uh, hospital to have her checked out and they uh, came up and diagnosed it as Alzheimer. That was March 2006. Alzheimer's disease uh, causes dementia, which is a progressive decline in cognitive function. The details vary, but the most common presentation is a short-term memory loss. Uh, so people, they, they know what happened in the war, but they don't know what happened yesterday. They were very frank and were upfront with us from the beginning and told us that there was no cure. There were a number of research programs being done, but so far nobody had the answer. You just cannot help but think one, one day, and I, I still feel that way, one day there's going to be an answer. The Alzheimer's trials up till now basically have focused on amyloid which is uh, deposited in the brain, and we've done numerous trials, and fairly soon uh, we'll be having trials that look at, at other proteins or other approaches or preventive measures. We've been involved in four clinical trials. There tends to be quite a bit of cognitive testing, memory testing, that sort of thing, because that's what's being measured. Do you know what month it is? She has no immediate memory. She still is very sharp and alert and knows what's going on. But what happened five minutes ago is another story. These are large-scale trials. They tend to have a placebo arm. Some people get the drug being studied and some people don't. The patient doesn't know what they're getting and I don't know what they're getting. The people with whom I've had contact, without exception, all care and are so interested in um, what what I have to say and you just feel that they're looking just as hard as they can for some cure. Everyone is concerned about the next generation. It doesn't take long with Alzheimer's disease to get to the point where you say well we're doing all we can <laughs> and that's often not satisfactory and so now by doing clinical trials I'm well ahead of the medical journals in terms of where the research is going and what some of the issues are. We certainly do not regret any of the efforts, time, or whatever that we spent doing this. And one day, like Jackie said, somebody's going to come up with the answer, and hopefully it will be soon. And the only way they're going to do it is through studies, and the only people they can study are those that have the disease.